Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Burn Notice, The Fall of Sam X, Movie Thoughts. I was wondering if Mike was going to show up, and I really like that they, you know, it's not his film, so of course it's just a small cameo. I like how their their roles are kind of reversed, that, you know, Sam comes to Mike needing some help from, you know, someone who still has some kind of, you know, Whose, whose situation is pretty good, and who can, you know, yeah, who can, who can advise on a situation, and, you know, of course, they have that brief little, you know, they, they don't even mention her by name, they just, but it's, you know, a very clear reference to Fiona, and, and, and we even get the, the, classic Mike face of, you know, when when he's just heard something that's just really, you know, baffling to him that just, you know, right, right after he said, you know, she was kind of a psycho, you know, she's sitting there. And the... And that is also, you know, when the, in the actual show, Sam does, you know, say some things, you know, about what, how Mike should deal with Fiona and such. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good reversal there. I... I suppose I shouldn't be really be surprised, but there were really no cover IDs, and you know, except the the Chuck Finley bit there at the end where he, yeah. Other than that, the film has no cover IDs for basically anyone. You know, the 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 the, the leader of the the military guys you know, lied to Sam, but other than that, you know, and it, it really, it isn't, it isn't really a spy kind of story overall. It is this, you know, guerrilla warfare, you know, one person comes down to help some people in this kind of situation, you know, this, this very unstable situation, and they Yeah, it's it's this kind of you know really. If this wasn't gonna be a burn notice thing, you could see like maybe Rambo. Rambo could easily have been the protagonist in this sort of story. It would have been a very different movie, but this sort of story, or like maybe a late, you know, a a recent Steven Seagal, you know, outing. And it's also, you know, they, they don't, they don't have access to a lot, so they're not really going out and staging a lot of things the way they do in the show. They're, they're always convincing someone that they are someone they're not and such. And yeah, in this, you know, basically they, they spend Sam spends most of the film with the 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 espada ardiente. I'm just the the passion sword. He spends most of the movie with them, trying to keep them safe and get them, you know, into a 
yeah, you know, keep keep them safe and get some kind of help for the the patients of the hospital. Where you know, if it were if it were an episode, yeah, you know, they would be. It would it would be more dynamic, I suppose is the 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 term. There would be more different kind of situations where in this you know he's keeping them moving he's he's training them some I like the the football train it, it kind of fits their numbers you know he's not training them like military because there you expect larger numbers he's teaching them you know what what were did, did they say it was like a dozen people or something so yeah you know and I like that, you know, the, 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 the subversion very, you know, fits very well with the show of Sam was the one who blew up the hospital, you know, because you think that, well, they got there and then they blew it up or, you know, when, when the, when it starts and you're you know you know stuff was blown up you're like oh the the passionate sword destroyed a lot of property maybe killed people then it turns out you know it's actually the the military guys are going to do it and then sam's the one who does do it that was a, a very nice and and like he says you know the the smoke and the fire you know that's what's going to give us cover they're going to wonder what happened and they're not going to want to just rush in because that thing just blew up who blew it up where are they might they blow us up if we go in there you know so and I thought it worked fairly well how the narration you know it was basically all that he that that Sam was explaining at this informal inquiry and then you know basically everything other than the inquiry was told in flashback and I feel like the they they didn't have to have this framing device although I'm not sure how the narration would have worked otherwise though I suppose the the on the show having not watched all of the show you know so far that this is this isn't a spoiler because you realize that very early on in the show it doesn't really explain it's not really that we're not seeing Mike tell what's happening to someone specific maybe he maybe he will eventually on the show but you know he yeah, it's not something that happens early on for sure. I can imagine that, you know, by the finale or something, we'll see that, oh, he was explaining this whole thing to someone. You know, like I said, I don't know. And personally, if it doesn't turn out that there's some specific, you know, I mean, it's basically what he's thinking in the situation. You know, the, the okay, the reason I'm doing this and this is... And it's kind of phrased as if he's telling someone it because he is telling the audience this. So I don't think it needs explaining. But in this movie, if they were going to do that same thing, yeah, I think it, it did need some kind of explanation. And putting that explanation right up front, you know, they could have had that you know, somewhere along the film that we see, oh, it's an informal inquiry, it's the first thing we see, you know, okay, this went really wrong, why? That, you know, that tells us that it went really wrong and that all the narration is going to be in this informal inquiry. At the end of the day, we do know that Sam makes it out alive. It's a prequel, we know that he's, you know, he's perfectly fine in the, in the show. You know, he's not, like, severely wounded or anything, for example, even. So, yeah, just putting all the, those cards on the table and immediately saying, you know, he makes it out of this mission fine and here's this informal inquiry. It also, right off the bat, sets up 
if there are going to be consequences to this whole thing, you know, for one thing, they're going to be within what the show setup would allow for, and for another, it's going to be, you know, some kind of legal legal thing from this informal inquiry. It's, excuse me, it's not going to be because we already know, we know that he's fine. We see that in the pilot. And, yeah, I, I feel like that was a good decision. And, you know, somewhat similar to the, the, the show, it's not just, like, blindly and staunchly, I guess, the... Yeah, in, in support of all, like... US like in in this case it's you know mainly like you know CIA kind of stuff you know foreign yeah what what they what the US does on foreign soil you know the the you know they they even have this line of you know I've seen these military guys you know, doing awful things and then blaming it on these groups. And we see, you know, okay, clearly this doesn't, you know, these, you know, passionate and they do know how to use the, the weapons they do have, but clearly they're not going around bombing hospitals. That's, you know, they, they don't have that kind of, you know, I mean, even if, if you... If you thought that they were, you know, like willing to, they don't have that kind of like manpower and, you know, equipment as as we see. And I, I do like that, you know, the the where you know basically when we first told them, it, it it sounds like you know they're they're a terrorist organization, which is, you know, very much a, you know. A hot button issue. So, yeah, you know, it sets up, okay, so it's going to be this story about maybe terrorists, and it turns out they, they just want to defend their, their, you know, so, yeah. And it's, I guess the, right, the, the doctor was what I was I like how he gets to be like really good at this bomb making thing. You know, you said to maximize the maximize the pressure. I maximize the pressure, and yeah, and that's also you know we have him to thank for a lot of the the big explosions and maybe at about half. Now, I mentioned in the review that it's not the the climax isn't very big. I mean, you you do have this short bit with the, the basically the siege where they use to their advantage that they you know they they have the higher ground they have better cover and they knew when the the military people were showing up and so they just they you know they they blow up a lot their you know vehicle such I really love the you know the the truck stops right before and it's like this it, it, is he on it? No, he's he's not. On. Why did the truck stop? And then it drives up, and then it blows up. You know, nice little. Although I don't think it would have killed them to show some kind of actual reason why. Just have have a brief, you know. I I don't really know what the explanation would be, but just we never do find out why he he stopped there, and just I don't know, just just something. Maybe, Maybe he's like superstitious and it's like, no, no, it's it's bad luck to just drive, okay, and then blows up that you know something. Now the but but yeah the 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 climax you know you you have that briefly but you know it's not that big it's. It's two groups of people shooting at each other. You do have a few squibs going off, and you know, again the the explosions, but you know that that happens, and 
Then it's this thing, you know, he goes up and he gets the, the reinforcements. And, you know, we do find out that's where the that's where he starts using the the alias the, the cover ID of Chuck Finley. And that that's like a you know the, the yeah on the show on the show that's when he starts doing spy stuff he was he was not a spy he was a navy seal so it would make sense that that's the first time he uses an alias and and it is also as a kind of you know it's not it's 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 not like a habit to him yet but he realizes this is not going to happen without some kind of I'm I'm going to have to you know he's been he's been using guerrilla warfare he's been tricking people all the way but like I said that's the one cover ID he uses that's the one time he uses a cover ID at all and yeah it's you know to get the reinforcements and it it is like you know on on the show they always on the show it is always this very spy kind of thing you know no matter the the job they're working the client they're working for whatever it is they they solve it like spies where in the film you know he's supposed to have some kind of military behind him he's you know he's a military man of a commander but instead it is this thing where yeah he's been he's been trying to make it work from just he's use he's using strategy and he's working with what he has but he realizes the only way this is going to go well for us is if i claim to be someone else and he you know he picks the name and he does his thing and you know and and it is throughout he does do the whole he's he's very much sam you know the way he talks to people and all the yeah and and like I said in the review, I, f I feel like when he's like directing them to where the camp is and such I feel like that's a little too goofy I I realize he can get really goofy on the show as well but just it's it's going a little bit too far though but but the map says that's north and then it flips it oh just yeah it's it's a little bit yeah but but then again that does lead to this you know it does lead to consequences it does lead to violence but the climax at the end of the day i guess you know the the climax is just sam standing there and and he's he's doing the the i do like that they that that's the last thing he does after he gets the call, you know, he puts in the call of reinforcements, and then he goes out there, and he talks. He tries to convince someone of something, and that is what Sam does really well. That, yeah, you know, he he goes out there, and his it's it's especially him kind of annoying people and making them think that. You know, ma making them believe something that isn't quite so. And he, you know, he's saying, "Do you really think that's all I have up there?" And you know, yeah, reinforcements are on the way, but that's not what he's. He doesn't say, "I have," you know, "I just called in," you know, U.S. military account. No, he says, "I have more up there than that." And yeah, he's doing the being annoying and such. That really fits as, and and I suppose that is really that is the way he should end it but yeah the climax he's standing there talking and he's taking a real risk and so are the the helicopters maybe they're sent by the the admiral from you know who sent him on the mission but they're taking a real risk that you know they won't hit him but anyway yeah you know up comes the helicopters and it's pretty good CGI, but you can still tell that it's CGI. It's better CGI than some of the show's CGI when it does. And, and the show doesn't do CGI very often, but some of what it's done, 
just is is a little too obvious and but but still yeah we have these CGI helicopters coming in blowing up some vehicles shooting and that's it that's the you know quote unquote big the 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 show has had much much bigger you know action climaxes in like big episodes and you know the yeah season premieres and season finales and such I really love the you know he he we he effectively wields a chainsaw as a weapon and goes groovy so yeah you know yeah yeah you really did have to do something like that the it's it's a cute little gag when when the that one member of the the passion sword when he's like chasing that chicken but as someone who's actually chased a chicken that's trying to run that was a very that chicken was not very scared or or like it or or excited or whatever when they were filming because chickens run way faster than that chicken did when when it's like no, no, no. they they just like you know, I don't know if they put like a little bit of food, a little. I, I don't know how trained it is, but usually they move way faster. But they would, you know, you actually, yeah, you see on Lost once where they're trying to catch a chicken. That is fairly realistic to how fast they move. I have no problem with like middle-aged or old people, like having romance stuff or something you know f whether in fiction or real life i you know it's it's such a stupid thing you know ah oh, but uh, it looks gross screw you just yeah the you know everybody deserves love everybody deserves to have some you know human intimacy is you know as long as they're not like forcing someone to do it yeah I don't mind that Bruce Campbell gets to kiss the girl in this, but I do feel like maybe the girl shouldn't be almost 20 years younger than he is. The, the, I, I want to say that he's like from 58 and she's from like 77 or something. I mean, he literally could be her father if, if you didn't know that, yeah. And it's not like they couldn't have made, you know, I, I recently watched and reviewed the Untraceable, you know, which stars Diane Keaton. Diane, Diane Lane? I'm getting my Diane's, it's Diane Lane, I want to say. She is, you know, a little she's she's not as young as she she has been and they you know and she was still the the major i i feel like they could have i get that they were you know they wanted it to be a has you used to be very idealistic and she's just been there for a few years and even that has made her really cynical so they wanted someone young but maybe make it a different character maybe make it one of the the passionate so you know but just have i mean yeah have have someone that where it doesn't feel like it's just you know kind of just you know wish fulfillment fantasy kind of thing that you know he gets to kiss the the young and pretty girl when you know i have no problem with you know bruce campbell gets to kiss the girl you know, but, you know, hey, a little king baby, but I feel like the age should be more, you know, if, if, you're, if your action lead male is going to be someone who's, you know, yeah, over 50, then absolutely, then make the, the girl he kisses also be, you know, just, yeah.
please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.